Alright, today we're going to be playing some uh, Mortal Kombat 11. Uh, uh, yeah, let's just go into a match. I'm going to go with Aaron Black. And let's, let's win. Hey, hey, I did it. I'm so good. Uh, Aaron Black, uh, kill them. I love gaming, my friends love gaming, and I'm assuming you love gaming, because why else would you click on this video? Anyways, I'm gonna be talking about more games that I've played. Let's just jump right into it. I don't want to waste any more of your sweet, precious time. Super Smash Brothers. Super Smash Bros. is one of those games that you've played or know someone who has played it. Whether it be 64, Melee, Brawl, 3DS, Wii U, or Ultimate. Obviously, Ultimate is quote-unquote the best because, well, it's just really good. But the one I have the most connection to is Smash Bros. Brawl. If I were to return to Brawl, I don't know who I would main. Because my main in the games after Brawl is Meta Knight, and I hate Meta Knight in Brawl. Not only because he's OP, but I just find him boring. Anyway, Smash Bros, you got your special moves, you got your normal moves, you got your throw, you got your shield, you got your tech. You got your roster of 80 plus characters. So fun fact, when I was really young and playing Brawl, I didn't know how to play the game. In time battles, your goal is to get the most amount of kills within the time limit, and I thought killing myself was an exploit that would win me the game every single time. You can probably guess what results that got me, but now that I'm older, I actually understand how to play the game. And I'm fairly alright at it. I'm definitely not at professional tournament level, but I could sit down with someone and have a good old time with them. Also, I made a video with Hedgy where we played Smash Bros, you should go check it out. But yeah, Smash Bros, good game. Also, Sakurai, please give me Scorpion for more Mortal Kombat and Challenger Pack 11. I'm a glad fan. Guilty Gear is a good fighting game franchise. You should go check out my Guilty Gear Strive review. Shameless plugin. Final Fantasy VII Remake was a very enjoyable 35 hours. One thing I will say is that it really needs a sequel. I bought this game during the 2020 Christmas sale, and I felt compelled to buy it because I predicted that Sephiroth would be in Smash Bros. The night before the 2020 Game Awards, me and my online friends were discussing what character we think would be in Smash, and I said that I wanted to see a Final Fantasy villain, and Sephiroth was one of them. But anyways, back to the game. This game's combat system is very fun and engaging. The voice acting is very good, and the graphics are pretty nice. Though I will say my least favorite and favorite part of the game was when you either had to take the elevator or over 50 flights of stairs. And I didn't know the elevator existed, so... This sucks! I wanna go back! Yeah, that took several minutes. But I gotta say, the best part about this game by far is the soundtrack. So many good songs from the original Final Fantasy VII got revamped for this game, and they're even better. And the song that plays at the end of the game, Hollow... Oh, it's... It's really good. Overall, I can definitely see why this game won a couple of awards. Bruh. Friday the 13th, the game is, uh... I, I don't know how to describe it. It's not made very well, but it's really damn fun. It's basically Among Us, except you know who the imposter is. Or if you want to get really down to it, it's basically a poor man's Dead by Daylight. I saw this game on sale for $5 on the PlayStation Store, and since I was getting a bit bored from the games I was playing, I thought, hey, I'll give it a shot. My highlight of the few hours I have played in this game was when I decided to put on a headset. Someone who I guess is 12 came up to me in game and asked me my opinion on Lil Nas X, and I gave my honest answer his music's pretty good and he's got a good sense of fashion i ended up getting killed by jason but that's not important so yeah friday the 13th is a very fun game if you're able to look past the graphics look at this dude Castle Crashers is a very fun game. Iconic designs, check. Good music, check. Poop jokes, check. Great game to play with your friends, check. Yep. That is 
Good game. So one day, several years ago, I was randomly gifted this game by Playgonic, and in my books, it's an all-time classic. It's a goofy, action-packed fun fest. Basically, you go green guy, red guy, blue guy, orange guy, gray guy, barbarian guy- Eddie Haddington! And you gotta get the crystal and the four rejected Mario princesses back. If you're a gamer, this is a must-play. Alright, that's another video done. Good sequel to the video games video. What do you think about that noob cybot? You're a wiener. Yeah, same. Hey guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Like I said in the first video games video, I love video games. And I'm hoping in the future I can pump out more videos about this topic. This video's question is asked by me. Yeah, that's right, we're doing a different kind of question today. So go ahead, put your answers in the comments. The question is, who is your favorite video game character? My answer is Sector from Mortal Kombat. Love the design, love the playstyle of the character, and overall, he's just really cool. Alright, have a good day, don't die.